Hello and welcome back to another video and this is going to be part of a series which was actually the, how I started this channel called Collector's Corner and this is going to be me talking about my collections and today it's about a very specific system and that is the new 3DS. For those of you who are not familiar with that basically Nintendo had the 3DS and they decided well let's maybe have what's the equivalent of like a pro edition um, kind of like a, just an enhanced model it had a second thumbstick but they released that towards the end of the life. And then they also put out some games that were strictly for just that system. So there was some digital ones. There was a, roughly about 100 digital games. Um, I think about 30 of them were actually like Super Nintendo games that only worked on there. The rest of them were eShop games. There was really only one to talk about, and that was the Binding, Binding of Isaac, which it was released on a lot of systems, but the new 3DS got a copy of it. Never got a physical copy. So I picked up the system recently for a pretty good price. And I decided, you know what, let me just go ahead on eBay and start ordering some games. And I accidentally, well purposely, not accidentally, ordered all the games for the system. Now I know what you're thinking. The DS had hundreds and hundreds and thousands of games. In fact, right now I'm watching a video that shows every DS game ever made. And it's nine and a half hours long. And the games are only shown for ten seconds apiece. So that gives you an idea how many games there were on the DS. The 3DS, I've already done that. It was much shorter, but there was still like four hours worth of content. So how many games were there on the new 3DS? Well, the way you can tell if it's for the new 3DS is because I'm doing this for a reason, because Nintendo also did that as well. They called it the new 3DS because yeah, it was a load of nonsense. So how many games were there on that system? I know what you're thinking, maybe you know, 100, 200, maybe if you're thinking, well, maybe not so many, maybe 50, 60. There was four, and that's it. So I personally normally only collect for the games that I would typically want for a system. For example, my Wii U set is over here. It is not by any means complete with every single Wii U game, but it has every Wii U game that I would ever want. Same thing for PS Vita, that's over that way. I had every single PS Vita game that I would ever want. Until I realized I missed one when I was watching my video of every PS Vita game that ever existed. I somehow overlooked uh, Tales of Hearts R. That is the place to play it. Yes, it technically if you want to play it in Japanese, you can play it on the DS, I believe. But it's better on the Vita. I have to get that. And then once again, I have completed my physical Vita collection as far as I'm concerned. Now, when I saw there was only four games for this... I thought, well, you might as well just go for it. So I pulled them up, and they're actually a pretty good set. Now, they're not that expensive either. I got this whole set, I believe, with tax came to 90 bucks. So they're about 20 to $25 a piece, which is not bad, especially because they were released in such limited quantities. And they're of series that are typically, well, mine is this one, uh, typically that fetch for a pretty large amount of money. So, the one that typically isn't worth very much is Minecraft. And this is Minecraft, the new Nintendo 3DS edition, specifically. And it's Minecraft. It works like Minecraft. The second C-Stick, it you know, controls the camera. It's not the best, but it's still playable. And they also have a pre-built Super Mario-themed world that you can go in. And, you know, all the textures and icons or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, texture pack is changed out to be Mario-related. And, yeah, it's interesting. It was about the cheapest one of them because, yeah, it's it's really, what, it's just Minecraft. Outside of that, I got... Well, I'm going to save this one for last because this one was actually new. I got Xenoblade Chronicles 3D, which Xenoblade typically is on the more expensive side of things. But once again, it was only about $20, $25. I think it was $20 plus $5 shipping. Uh, really cheap. You know, this is the same game that was on the Wii, except this was the port for the new 3DS. And from everything I read, this one, in some ways, is better. In some ways, it's not. But this is a very comparable version of the game. And I don't have the Wii one. So the Wii one, last time I saw it, was $40 or $50. This one was $20. I'm good now. I don't have to buy another one. I do also have the Xenoblade on the Wii U. I think that's all I have. I don't have any of the Switch ones. It's a series that I've always wanted to get into. And I'm like, well, I should probably start at the first game. So now I can. 
the next game was one that I didn't expect to quite like as much as I do. And that is, underneath all this GameStop garbage, is Fire Emblem Warriors. This actually came from Goodwill's eBay page. And uh, surprisingly, it's in pretty good shape. And I'm going to peel off the GameStop garbage here in a little while. But, I, you know, it's it's a Dynasty Warriors game, but with Fire Emblem characters. It's got a pretty, you know, well-thought-out story. It's got voice acting. It's got full-rendered, you know, cutscenes. It's really good. I have played some Warriors games in the past. I played Dynasty Warriors back on the PS2 way back in the day. Those games didn't hold my attention very long. I did play Hyrule Warriors. It, it was much better. And then when I got this, for some reason, I just started playing it and haven't stopped. I'm approaching, I'd say, about the third of the way mark at this point, And I've only been playing it for three days. It's pretty good. Um, if there was one game to really pick up for this system, it'd be this. But then this is also on Switch. So, so much for that. Now, the other game, which is still new in the box, was Runbo Pocket Edition. I bought this, and remembered, oh, wait a minute, I already had Runbo on the Wii U. Apparently, this has, I think it's 40 extra levels in it, plus it's 3DS, you know. So that was all it took to complete the whole set for this thing. Like I said, 20 to $25 per game, they were really cheap. You know, they're still brand new. They don't really have, like, a big audience of people trying to collect them because I don't think there's a lot of people who really bought the new 3DSs and the new 2DSs over the original because now they're expensive as can be. People are actually importing the Japanese ones and putting custom firmwares on them just so they can play them without having to pay $300 for a system. I didn't pay anywhere near that. Now, the games themselves, which, hey, it's a Fire Emblem. It was in the system. I just pulled it out. They look the same. There's nothing to stop you from putting this into a regular 3DS. Except, of course, it does say new across the top, but that is nonsense, as always. And I'll get to the nonsense in just a minute. The um, the only difference is it just won't work. And, you know, you're thinking, well, what is it that will stop a game? You know, what makes these things so much more in-depth? What needs that extra processing power? Well, I can kind of understand Minecraft, because this has to render chunks. That does take some power. Fine. Whatever. Great. Good for you. All that kind of stuff. And then we have Xenoblade 3D. This is a pretty big open-world game. Yeah. There's other open-world games on the 3DS. Fine. All right. Whatever. That's fine, too. Fire Emblem Warriors is when it's starting to really, like, question it. It's got these pre-rendered cutscenes. Maybe that's hard for the system. Maybe they're rendering them as they play. I don't know for sure. But for the main part, it could just be because of how many things are out in the battlefield at the same time. All right. But then you got this. This is a 2D, like, flat game with, like, five colors at most on the screen at the same time. There is no reason that this would never have worked on the original system. I don't understand it at all. It's as basic as it can get. And the worst part about this is out of these four games, these three aren't even in 3D. The only one that actually does 3D is the one that says 3D on the box. Xenoblade Chronicles 3D, this one does actually play in 3D. Which is why I can kind of see, all right, maybe when you've got that much of an open space, it needs a little more processing power to render the 3D. But, come on. There's no 3D in this one at all. And there's nothing in this one. This is as flat as it gets. There is no depth of field at all. It's literally just black floor and colored, solid colored backgrounds, 2D sprites. And there's really only one sprite on the screen at a time, and that's usually you. Occasionally there's an enemy, but not very often. So, I really think this whole, like, only four, because, yeah, it does say that across the top, only four new 3DS. I think that was kind of nonsense for some of these games. You know, I can kind of understand a couple of them, but whatever. Now, there was a guy who played all 104 games that were for the new Nintendo 3DS on YouTube. I watched that just so I can kind of see what I'm getting myself into. And the stuff that was on the eShop, which, of course... It's shut down now. 
so I don't have even the chance to even look at those. The majority of it was garbage, and some of them were so basic that you could have run it on a potato. So, yeah, it's it's an easy one. If you happen to have the system, it's still a very cheap system to complete a collection if you really want to complete a physical collection, that is. It's very easy. They're all on eBay. There were multiple listings for everything. I think this guy actually had multiple copies of brand new, still in the plastic, and he shipped it in a case protector, which I thought was amazing. So it's an easy one to get into, and I think I'll probably do a Let's Wing It on the Fire Emblem game, just because I, I quite enjoy it. In fact, I'll probably be playing that as soon as I finish this video. So I hope you enjoyed, and we'll be doing some more collection stuff here in, in the short future, as well as some other projects I got going on, and I'll see you then.